Now this is crazy. And I want to ask you crazy questions. When was your last time you went to a salon for a hair shave? Was it yesterday, last week? Now, again, how often do you go there? Twice a month? Twice a week? <laughs> now let's think, where does all the hair goes to? Of course, all of us know it goes to the dustbin now. After that, where does it go to? OK, I know you have those puzzling answers, and you want to know more. This is my story. 2018, when I was in high school, I was here sitting in a school salon on one weekend, and I was seeing all that hair down the floor. And I had all these questions. Where do people take this hair, and what happens with that? Crazy. Yeah. So challenge number one was how to change that to be something. Because at that time, of course, I needed money. I wanted to change. I, I know this trash to treasure stories now. And I wanted the trash to treasure story here. And I want to be the main guy there. So challenge number one, how to change that into something treasure. So as a science student, of course, I was doing my physics, chemistry, biology, one of the toughest A-level combinations to deal with, honestly. So I loved science. I loved innovation. So I went to the laboratory. And then at night, I was going in these school salons, and then I was uh, stealing <laughs> the worst <West> here. <laughs> after people having their hair shares during uh, weekends. We do it during weekends. So I went to this laboratory, and of course, I had only two lab techs knowing that what I was doing for a period of more than six months. Then I got my private room in the, the school compound where no one gets in, no one gets out. Because it was crazy. Why are you dealing with human hair? So. So I learned in class that uh, human hair, just as your nails are, are all proteins. Uh, OK, proteins, right? So I researched. I wanted to know more about it. And uh, OK, proteins, uh, think of balls together, like think of four balls, just four balls, soccer balls, all together in a line. This is how proteins are. Now, these proteins. When single balls, the single single balls are separated, those are amino acids. Now, that's basic chemistry, basic chemistry. So every single ball has its structure. So the amino acid structure has all this nitrogen, carbon, oxygen, hydrogen. And then you have one of the chains carrying the, could carry uh, phosphorus, could carry calcium. Now. OK, I have all this theory. Now what do I do with it? Uh, then I thought in standard three, around five, going on and from one, two, I was learning about uh, macro elements and micro elements. For plants growth, I was learning, we, we learn about uh, what plants need to, to grow. So I thought, now I could make this here as a fertilizer. So here, that was my magic. Now, challenge number two. Challenge number two, you don't find it in the book, you don't solve it in the laboratory. It is very hard. And I know you know what that is. Witchcraft. <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> so what I wanted to do is research what's happening, really. In Tanzania, people would rather in some cultures, who rather bury their hair or their nail cuttings than leaving it scattered. I know people do that. Now, imagine walking to a saloon, you are having your hair cut, then I want your, your hair droppings on the floor. What would you think? Now, that face was what I got. And of course, it was really hard. Now, I thought of human motivation. 
wanted to make something potential of it, people that people could benefit from it. So I thought of, what if I pay these people to get the hair? And then they will, <laughs> they will not think of witchcraft, then uh, in that way I'll, I'll deal with the myth. Because I knew what people were scared of was something useless. These people were thinking, uh, if I take your hair, then I'm going to curse you with that hair. Of course, I wasn't going to do that. Now, it started, I started working on it. Paid some, baba, uh, some babas, and we started getting a few, few amounts, around five kilograms, and that was working. So challenge number two was solved, and the myth was going away. And if you walk around Arusha today, they know I'm the hair picker in their salons. <laughs> yeah. So I'm here at, uh, I wanted now to do all of that when I finished my high school. So I took a gap year uh, before joining university, and I wanted this to be a real business. Then I learned, because I was just a science student, I didn't know how to put in the uh, proposals, put in the financials, the what, I started learning. And this is a curiosity that every entrepreneur carries. So then in 2020, I started this startup called Cut of Recycle, where right now, people employed 100 waste pickers, pick waste here from barber shops, and they bring over to us. It is paying them, and in Arusha, we have already reached a small percentage, around, around 100 saloons, out of 500 saloons that in no time will reach. And then this will expand to more places. And right now, I have orders from everywhere, around India, Botswana, Brazil, they want our fertilizers. Now you see, this is how you change an opportunity that's unusual to be something potential and meaningful. And you do that by trying, failing, trying, then again testing it. Don't worry about it. My first few products were provided for free because these farmers are using their urea, they're using their usual commercial fertilizers. Then you're telling them, here is my hair fertilizer. How do you do that? They don't even take it. So these people came back, not because our, our price was five times cheaper, but because we offered them exactly what we wanted. So now remember, you may not see them now, but opportunities, opportunities exist everywhere. It's time for you to think of them right one full step after your door in your neighborhood. There's always an opportunity for you to work on. Thank you.